same ghost, joined by this random guy wearing the same damn costume as me. Welcome to ESO News Lounge, where today's tidbits are the future of tomorrow. All right. Today's episode here on the ENL, we will be discussing 12 player mini trials, how storage and appearance change, new DLC, and new chapter for the Elder Scrolls Online. Saint, go ahead and take it away. Well, thanks, Saint. I sure will. So we got some good intel, and you can tell that it's good intel because of the way it is. Am I right or am I right? So first tidbit of intel moving forward into 2018. 12-player mini trials. Now at Clockwork City DLC, we got Sanctum Asylum introducing the 12-player mini trial, which is basically a big space where you kill bodies, primarily just focusing on boss fights. Kind of uh, a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, Nestle quickie kind of thing. We came for the loot. Now we out. Well, apparently it was a huge hit, so they say that more are coming. So for all you two pump chumps that are into that sort of thing, stand by. Because 2018 is going to have more of those jazzy bells for you. Now, back to you, Sane. Thanks, Sane. Great job with that report. Next tidbit of information, fucking housing. Storage. What? I'm happy to announce that home storage is... <laughs> Coming to ESO in early 2018. What? I can't hear you. I have an ear in function. Could you help me figure it out? What the fuck? Yo, storage was supposed to be the whole point of housing. You fucked me once, Xenomax. Don't fucking do it again. So, yeah, uh, enough said on that, because you don't want to get me fucking started. So as we keep going further down this rabbit hole we got here coming up in early 2018, we'll eventually be able to change our character's appearance in what seems that one could only speculate. It will be some kind of household item like a mirror, and it'll probably be fucking 50,000 damn crown. But it's okay, because I'm a fucking loser and I'll buy it, so if you can't get the item, feel free to come over to my house or it's swallow and I'll let you use it. And now, a quick message from our sponsors, Storm Atro Mouse. I'm too shiny, watch me dazzle like a diamond in the rough. Struck my stuff, my stuff is so shiny. Okay, now that I finally found a way to use that clip, we can press forward with our last tidbit of info. Three new DLCs coming. One of them we know called Dragon Bones and... Pretty much the announcement of a new Elder Scrolls Online chapter. Uh, we can only hope, we can only wish, we can only pray. Hopefully that shit is motherfucking Skyrim. Uh, come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, really? Like, these motherfuckers know they made a lot of money off Merwin. You're gonna tell me that they're not gonna turn around and be like, Oh, we got Oblivion coming. Uh, we got Skyrim coming. Yeah, right, I'm telling you. It's coming. Mac my wits. It's fucking Kevin. But what we do know is there is a new DLC coming early 2018, and it's going to be the Elder Scrolls Online Dragon Bones DLC. Uh, it's going to be a dungeon-based DLC, so there could be the new mini trial that they kind of tried out. Uh, they could be adding in another one of those, and we could possibly also have a few new dungeons. Uh, we know that it will be Nord-based in theme. Uh, expanding upon the lore of that region are going to be the two dungeons itself. Uh, yeah. Dragon Bones. Sounds fucking badass to me. So to recap, be on the lookout for uh, housing storage. About fucking time. Character appearance, well, in-game character appearance changes will be implemented somehow with probably what's going to be, come on, we already know it's going to be a housing item, it'll be a freaking mirror, use our brains here, come on. Uh, yeah. Uh, but new dungeons, uh, our first set being a dragon Nord based, which I will personally hold to a higher standard, because on a Friday night between the hours of 2 and 4 a.m., that shit gets me going, if you know what I mean. And of course, another full chapter for ESO in relativity to the size of Morrowind, in which I personally hope is Skyrim and hopefully the new Dungeon Dragon Bones DLC is a preview of just that. But again, those are just hopes and dreams, and when you live off of hopes and dreams, you find yourself up shit's creek. Okay, thank you, Sane, for those inspiring words of encouragement. 
Uh, well then, I guess we'll wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to ENL, where we don't just read the news, we are the news. Start dancing, I'll blow your brains out. Give me that thing.